Hello. Welcome to, uh, I believe this will be a good video series. I'm starting it now, of course. And it's going to be called... <laughs> I actually don't have a real name for it. I'm just going to judge superheroes by like, the superpowers they have and such. Anyway, it's obvious today's superhero is... Come on, get it. It's not that hard. Is it? <laughs> it's Superman, of course. I figured Superman would be a good starter because he's one of the strongest superheroes out there. Yeah. But, on my rating system, he's only a 3 out of 10. Because, here's the thing. His superpowers are... He, is, he has durability, energy absorption, enhanced hearing, enhanced senses, flights, healing factor, hypnokinesis, intelligence, invulnerability. He can jump super high, long levity, stamina, super breath, super speed, super strength, vision heat, vision microscopic, vision telescopic, vision x ray. Yeah. Why not just stamp him with every superpower ever made? Ooh, yeah, let's make a superhero with every superpower. But it's not only that, his weaknesses are he's weak to magic, kryptonite, lead, and solar energy. Now, I understand that he is weak to, I don't know, the solar energy being gone, but it says that he is weak to the sight of the red sun. However, this does come with an upside with the blue sign. But Come on, if you're flying around the universe saving the day, as in this future comics, well, as in the comics that are set in the future of his life, then eventually you run into a red sun. Unless you can see, oh, there's a, there's a red sun, I must not fly there, I must not fly there! However, blue suns do make him stronger. Now, my question is, there are, are white suns and there are black suns. Where do those fall in? It is just uh, like, uh, he never goes near them. Seriously, if you're flying around the universe, you'll eventually run into them. Also, Kryptonite! That is one of the most common elements, apparently, in his universe. Superman is coming. Well, I just found this rock here, it's full of Kryptonite, uh, let's just use it against him. Now, I like how in the movie, he overpowered his weakness, and that nearly killed him. That was awesome. But, come on, guys. Kryptonite is Superman. Equals Superman being unable to do anything. Read the comics once in a while. He does overpower it sometimes, but... Not a lot. Also, imagine this. He has all this power. He can fly at the speed of light, and yet somehow crime always happens. Why not just stop crime all over the planet? I mean, if you can fly at the speed of light and reverse time just by flying around the Earth as so, then why not? Why not? Oh wait, I forgot. Your dad told you not to in the first Superman movie. Well, this is your reaction in the first Superman movie. <laughs> you didn't even see it, I just did this. <laughs> anyway, Superman. Also, you see that? Yeah. I can so picture him being unable to handle magic. I mean, he's only physically strong, and he has all these superpowers. He can't just say, that guy has magic. I must defeat him with laser vision. <laughs> or, does not fight those guys. I do have like it in the cartoon. He did fly around a guy with magic and that actually stopped the guy from hurting him. And he actually let someone live. But I don't like superheroes who are too overpowered. I mean, it's like this. Hi, I'm Superman. Bam, you're done. If they wanted to get superhero, make him at least humanish. Instead of being an immigrant who's apparently fighting for the American way, 
Yeah. A lot of logic there. We must get rid of illegal immigrants. So, Fran, you go first. Also, we really need to work on it. How I can? It's just the new superhero movie made him look terrible. Terrible. I get how Kryptonite is a gap, and I get how it is very strong, but damage is already done. You could just have done like, oh, Kryptonite can be formed into a gas by changing its elemental structure and by crushing it into a cylinder, but no. No. Also, it took him his entire life to get used to the energy on his planet. However, that guy, I can't remember his name right now, but he got used to it in 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I can breathe here now! Also, Kryptonite. Superman does not need air. Superman doesn't need air. He can just survive on light. If you don't believe me, look it up. Anyway, my total judging meant actually after talking about it, he actually has gone up two ranks. Now he's a 5 out of 10 because of his epicness. Yeah, 5 out of 10. What would you judge Superman? List in the comments below. If you don't know anything about Superman, you really don't need to be on YouTube. Anyway, look above if you want to look up anything about Superman. Also, I'd like to thank uh, the creator of SuperheroDB.com because that's where I got my information. Also, I'd like to thank Screw Attack and everyone who posted Superman videos online. I'm sorry this video has taken so long, and I hope to see you again. See all you chimichangas and enchiladas. And anyone else.